Hey everybody, welcome back to finally uh, episode 3 of Fears to Fathom. This one is called The Carson House. Um, it's a very brief description on Steam. It's uh, you play as, um, I forget the fucking dude's name. Uh, hold on a second, hold on. Okay, so we play as Noah Baker. We're 18, we're in high school, and uh, apparently we're house sitting for a media personality, I'm assuming. A social media influencer. <laughs> that shit's so fucking dumb. But um, yeah, and apparently we uh 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 experienced some shit. Not too sure what it is. Didn't want to look into this. Wanted to come in blind as a baby, fresh as a daisy. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't want to assume it's gonna be like the first episode where it's just you're a kid at home by yourself and some fucking creepy motherfucker like breaks into your house and shit. But <clears throat> uh, the first and the second episodes. A lot of fun. I love them. Very well done. Very fucking scary. Jump scares were good. Atmosphere was good. Just all this shit was good. So I'm excited to finally get to episode three. I'm going to be kind of be honest. I kind of thought they uh, just were kind of done with it because they haven't come out with anything in a while. But I looked at the release dates between each episode. And each episode came out. It's once a year. So I'm assuming this is going to be the one for this year. And then 2024, another one's going to come out and so on and so forth. But let's get that shit out of the way. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Y'all probably clicked off by now. But if you're still here, hey, smash that like button, why don't you? <laughs> and subscribe if you're new. We just got to 123. I'm fucking psyched. My goal for 2023 is to at least get to 200 or at least get a little close to it. You know, can we do that? Hey, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, all that bullshit out of the way. Thank you all so much for stopping by. You know, hopefully you stay for the whole video. If not, it's all good. Hopefully, whoever you stayed for, you at least got a little enjoyment out of it. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you'll tell your friends this guy's a fucking retard. But, uh, <laughs> God, all right. Get to the video. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're all having a great day. Fantastic day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Just hope you're enjoying yourself and not hurting yourself or anybody else. All right. Let's see what, uh, fucking Noah's going to get himself into. All right, so we got two more now after this. So, all right, we got Carson House. And that's the thing. Each episode... Oh, God. Uh, each episode is longer than the one before that. Because this one was only, like... Like, 25 minutes. This one was, like, 48. And then this one says an hour. So, let's go. Fears to Fathom is an episodic... Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Everybody knows that by now. Fears to Fathom, episode 3. Carson house like call me Carson oh god my name is Noah I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest it said you were eight what no dude it said you were 18 hold on a fucking second yeah I, I'm looking at the steam page right now this shit says he's 18 <laughs> oh maybe it's when from when he was all right I'm gonna shut up my name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. You're sending it because you want it to be a fucking uh, level in a game, my guy. This happened when I was 18. Okay. But I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. Damn, what, some really bad shit must have happened. I feel bad for the guy. For a little background. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. That sounds pretty dope. Oh, so it was for his dad that he did this. Okay. Uh, job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days. And he needed someone he could trust to watch over his house. So I'm assuming that's us. The man worked as a COO. I only know of CEOs. I don't know about COOs. At a local media company. Dad told me he would... Dad told me the man would pay me $100. Jesus. Just to watch the house and do some basic chores. Damn. Just for the night? Hell yeah. I accepted the offers. I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Okay, so that kind of is giving vibes to the first episode because you were a kid that had to do his homework and shit, but whatever. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. Uh, shit, man. Who the fuck is? Especially at 18. Damn, get all the money you can, my guy. Uh, my dad drove me to the house. Oh. Alright. 
drove, drove me to the house. We're in a fucking laundromat, man. What the hell? What the fuck's going on? Oh, all right, that's okay. <laughs> all right, so we're no, we're chilling at a fucking laundromat. I don't know. I'm excited though that they finally came out with an episode three because, like I said before, I thought they just kind of like stopped. But I guess it's like with how much. I'm assuming they get a lot of stories because I mean, shit, man. This, it, it, like a game like this is a really fucking cool. Um, it's really cool and it's super original, like style and stuff. Because it's it's stories that people submit and they animate it all into a game, which is fucking cool. But I'm assuming they get a lot. So I mean, you know, some are probably kind of similar to others, so they can't really do you know all of them and shit. But what the hell? Huh? But I'm just happy that they released one. And I didn't even get any notification. I was just on YouTube and some fucking dude, I forget his name, uh, fucking uploaded. And I was like, what the hell is this? I thought it was the first episode. Huh? Oh, shit, man. The weed done kicked in. Yo, those edibles were fire, my guy. Oh, my God. Speaking of edibles, there was this time where um, <laughs> I, got, I had edibles. And there was like, I want to say about like eight or nine. They were uh, they were hard candies. They were green apple flavored. And I took all of them, at, not at once, but like kind of like over the like a little bit of time. And I was watching this the movie The Faculty, and I swear to God, like I was in the middle of just enjoying the edibles, and like it was probably about done. And then we were about like. It was like a quarter of the way into the movie, and I blink, and it's at the end, and I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? I was like, what? wait, the movie's over? <laughs> and I looked at the package, I was like, damn, man, this shit is, uh, this shit was fucking strong. Moral of the story, be fucking real, uh, easy when you're having edibles, man. Those shits will fuck you up. In a good way, usually, but why am I opening these? It's not like anything's gonna happen. Am I supposed to, like, pick something up? What's going on? I got a coffee? Got some change? Ooh, quarters? No. Uh, okay, dot, dot, dot. Oh! Alright, just realized that was pretty shit. Bleach. What? Where'd you put it? What the fuck? Who are- what, what? Who are you? Where's the bleach? I need bleach! What even is this place, bruh? I need the bleach! Oh, I. What the fuck? Noah. Noah! Map- Nap time's over he Nap time's over... We're here. What? We're here, you said you- oh, wake up now. Wake up, Noah. No, wake up! I'm confused. Creepy dream sequence. Oh, it's his dad. oh, okay. Oh shit, I didn't even fuck- god damn it. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. God damn it, I fucking double clicked. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for, like, yeah, yeah, get the fuck out. This just gives me vibes of the first one, especially the house, almost. It was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Math book. Okay, so, escape is, all right, text. Oh, kicking. Wait, so, alright, are y'all friends or something? Is this your girlfriend? School's full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. <laughs> I don't think you're either. Oh, let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been, <laughs> you know, I haven't been a good kid to him. Jesus, so he's a little bastard. If your dad doesn't think you're... That is the weirdest way to spell you are. Uh, a good kid. I don't even want to know what mine thinks of me. Raffle. Raffle. Oh, my God. So, the, what? This was 10 years ago, supposedly. So, this was, yeah, 2013. Oh, my Lord. Uh, I just don't think I really 
I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Ugh, not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. Oh, shit. The grudge next weekend? Wink. Oh, shit. 100% wink. No. Damn. This little baby. Get in. Oh. Little tail. <laughs> Just had the weirdest dream ever. Well, we still can't fucking submit anything. Don't give us the opportunity. Don't give us the chance to fucking uh, type shit in the fucking message bar. But it ain't gonna work. Man, dude, for a hundred bucks? Actually, I don't know, man. If the, uh, he's a media influencer. This motherfucker's got money, bro. You better toss a fucking couple hundred my way. Oh, is that it? E fake rock. Got two dogs? Boy, and I swear to God, is this a girl? No. Nah. Better say, what the hell? Yeah, let's go swimming. Oh, we can! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I got a little wet. Yeah, I'm sure Evelyn would like that. Hey, oh. Alright, shut the damn door. Do not disturb for any reason. Oh, it's like his photo studio and stuff. Okay. I like knock shit over. <laughs> I had to pee. Well, fuck you. I'm exploring. Noah, go fucking piss old. Don't actually, don't pee on the green screen. Don't do that. That shit expensive. Those ain't cheap. Uh, where the bathroom? Where's the goddamn bathroom? Just ends up pissing all over the floor. Oh, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Studio. Where the hell's the goddamn bath? Rael was too lazy to model that. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh, my God. All right, so I got to go upstairs to take a piss. Whoa, this is a nice-ass bathroom. I just, just, and I don't want to watch you go pee. Not even aiming, he's pissing on top of the toilet. Oh, do, do I, did I have to aim it myself? What the hell was that about? Hey. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Is Mr. Carson, I guess? Or... All right. Fuck. Uh, my bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Uh, work is really getting the best of me here. No, uh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. <laughs> He's my dad. Why did it go from Android to fucking uh, iPhone? Sons of bitch. No, fuck that. Um, all right, so we got to do our homework, I guess. Oh my God, same crap. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Oh, the contact name got changed. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house now. I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson's smiley face. I don't like that. Who the fuck is Zeke? This fucker better not get us... Got to... Is it? Oh, no, he's not. How do I use my fucking math notebook? Oh, my God. Three of them? You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I want to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. Right on it. Oh, we, we gotta go down to the basement? Oh, no. I'd rather go anywhere but that. Jeebus Cristo. Ha! Oh, man. Oh, oh. I don't have a flashlight or anything, man. There's no fucking light switch. I don't even think there's one at the top of the stairs. Oh, jeez. I almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab a flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Thank fuck. I don't know, man. I feel like Mr. Carson, he's, he's being a little too, uh, nice. The layout of this house is so fucking weird. I should have closed the TV. What? Oh, here's a storage room. Okay. Got the light. Okay. I can throw it? 
I can throw it at somebody and be like, hey, fuck you. Bing. All right, let's go to the basement. Oh my God, dude, like basements, there's there's no in between with them. They're either really cool or they're creepy as fuck. And this one is taking the ladder. Um, all right, the fucking dog. What the hell? This looks like old ass fucking dusty dog. What the hell is this? Uh. I don't think Zeke is a man. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I don't think Zeke is a is a dog. I think it's more of a uh, it's more of like an inbred human. Um, or, did he say anything about how to do it? Uh, it's his dinner time. He can get food in the basement. Blah blah blah. So Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Hey, all right, but where the hell is dipshit McFuckface? Where can I feed him? You know what? Whatever. No, who cares? Motherfucker doesn't want his goddamn food. If it doesn't tell me how to do it, then I'm not going to do it. All right. I remember I was doing calculus that night. I did have schoolwork, but I wasn't feeling it at this time. Bitch. Oh my God. I did. Okay, so can you fucking give Zeke his damn food? Now we can feed this fucking motherfucker. And I think... The cat's name is Boy. Here you go, puppy. Can we pet him? Can we pet old Zeke? No, he's not. Alright, so the cat's name is Boy. I just got that fucking figured out. Good dog, good home. Yo, what up? Hey kid, uh, hey kid, heard from Walter your computer was, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you. The whole security system set up here. Okay, so I guess this is where you finally get the password. Instead of me just trying to figure it out for fucking ten minutes. Have a lot of experience. Oh, have a lot of expensive equipments laying around. Don't want anything to happen to him. That's true. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Yeah, he's got a lot of fucking photography shit. What? Thanks, kid. What's the password, dickhead? All right. So, sorry to say, good sir, but I need your password. If it's boy, oh my god. Okay. I was gonna be like, are you fucking kidding me, sir? I need your password. L A L E Carson five three eight seven. Capital A. Not entirely sure if that makes a difference in the game, but we'll do it anyway. A L E Carson five three eight seven. Woo! Was that Windows XP? Yeah. Good times. I net. Their system has encountered a critical error. What the fuck? Egg. Okay. Guess the flag. Okay. Recycle bin. Guide to being a... To being a what? Better person? What the fuck is this? Directed by Alec Carson. In this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step un. I'll be rude. Didn't put an apostrophe there, pal. I have special eyes. Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. The hell? Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the. What is this? A fucking ARG or something? In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. <laughs> Don't need a pup. I want to pet it. I want to take it home, be his friend. 
Remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Jesus. I've seen Mandela catalog. I know what the fuck happens. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you say calm? What the fuck did he say? It doesn't sound like he said hello. Secret of being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. Okay. That's all we have for today. All right. I'm scared and confused. I want to go home. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Download it now. Boney? Security threat Traj.Oske. Risk high infected location rain. Boos system 55. Okay. Result threats not removed. Why the hell didn't you remove them? That's the fucking whole reason why I wanted this shit. Remove it. Cool. Uh, you're protected. Dope. Good shit. Um, all right. Let's check the security system. All right. Cool. We're rocking. Pretty sure I closed that door, but if not, fine. Okay. Oh, God. I hate that basement. I'm... Doggy still eating the food. All right, we're good to go. Boing. Oh shit, Evelyn. Hey, 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 all right. Uh, tell that to my kid. But thanks, I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. <laughs> yeah, if I'm not dead first. <clears throat> Ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel Ten last night. By the way, the rerun must have been on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Uh, wait, that place got a TV? Ha ha ha, yeah, hold on. Oh shit. We better have a weird virtual date. My god, dude, it's the ambient music, man. It's. Uh, like, it's so good. But fucking horrifying. Yeah, that, that was too lazy. Alright, let go. Dahmer? I'm Jeffrey, <laughs> and today we are cooking cat food. <laughs> I love to make cat food. It's my favorite. Son, you're watching cat food. Dish. It's super enjoyable and healthy. Mm. That's <laughs> delicious. We can't eat this. It's raw. Oh, man, after the first episode where, like, the... You're eating the lasagna, you can see the dude's feet going up the stairs. I am not taking any chances right now. You're in the way, dickhead. What the hell? Okay, now while that's cooking, Jeffrey must... Jeffrey really item. just be Jeffrey sometimes. I'll be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. The cardboard into the milk. Also, I think you should get the groceries before that. it gets too dark. There's some cash in my nightstand. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. We can finally serve it. This looks amazing. Time to eat! All of a sudden, like, a shoulder just fucking rip, like a hand drops on your character, sort of fucking whips them around. Ah! Nah, I'm cool, bro. Yoink. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Dude, bye. Bang. So, do we have to take the fucking bike now? You want hands? I'll fucking give you hands. You can take Alex's bike. It's on the outside of the garage. Ha ha ha! Let's go. Is there another driving segment? Yo, let's go! Um, it doesn't even say which way we have to go, so I'm just gonna assume we gotta go this way. Or at least maybe like this way, because I know going the other way backwards, it said the same thing. Oh, you go, could just leave like that. Like, why not? Don't matter. Alright. Just takes us right back to the house. It's like a shit. Time to go back. Nine 
Nux? Did we get hit by a car? Damn it. Fuck! Oh, there are other reasons I could have died that night. <laughs> wait, so wait, am I dead? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, no. Come on, man. Alright. Put a back right there. As we're gonna come out, our bike's gonna be stolen. Guaranteed. What up, my man? Hi, how you doing? Good, you? Doing good. Use a shopping basket, of course. Um, what the fuck did he say he needed? Ranch? Strawberry jelly. Alright, so, one. Uh, chocolate spread. What do you mean extra stuff? There is no fucking such extra shit, dude. Thanks for shopping at Nux. Have a good one. Didn't have money to buy extra stuff. He gave you a hundred dollars. There's no fucking way a 7-Eleven's gonna, for all this shit, it's not even a lot of stuff. It was what, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. There ain't no way in fuck that that's gonna cost over a hundred damn dollars. Or even close to a hundred dollars. What the fuck? Alright, turn, turn your bike now. Turn your bike now. Let's go back to the house so we can get fucking murdered. <laughs> Spent 20 minutes? 24? To be exact. Going back to the house. Ooh. Alright. Looks a little darker than before, but... I had to pee again. I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. Yeah, which is what you should have done, but nah, you gotta make time for Evelyn so it makes sense. You know, gotta make time for your girl, homie. But also, education is important as well. Um, I just toss him. Just fuck, throw it. I kept the groceries in the kitchen. <laughs> Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Yeah, sounds good. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Oh, all right. Okay, Jesus Christ. I like how it actually feels like you're on like Google and shit. It's cool. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans from the angry fans of his ex-wife. What? Co-founder is allegedly receiving death threats after the very public divorce of his actress wife, Alyssa Brown Carson. What are you talking about? Can we like full screen this? The fuck? Okay. <coughs> Hunter News. It was not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see similar, we see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO, COO and co-founder of BN Media, after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, has allegedly been receiving death threats from fans of Alyssa Brown. For the rumored infidelity that underwent within that said relationship. Ah, so he cheated, huh? Oh my god, they doxed his ass. That's... I don't... Is that legal? I don't, I don't know. That feels illegal to me. That just seems illegal to me. So, sources say Roy Carson has been... Has had people knocking on his door to confront him, but Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her, so you, the reader... Stays updated with the situation. Door. Who the fuck's at the front door? Fuck off. I didn't order no pizza, homie. I didn't order shit, brother. Uh, uh-uh. Yep. No way, no how. Uh, thank you. So, get the fuck out, then. No! I'm not answering no damn door to the fucking random-ass pizza guy. If Roy didn't tell me that he was getting pizza. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm probably about to die, Evelyn. 
No, dude, no. I'm not opening the fucking door for that son of a bitch, man. Come on, bruh. I'm waiting for a text from some one of them being like, do not open that fucking door. It's gonna happen right about now. Ooh, doo -doo. Oh, man, dude, I don't like this. I don't fucking like this. Can he see me? All right, we're probably gonna die. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. I, I didn't order any pizza, homie. Oh God, no, 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 no. Nope, this is just like how it was in fucking Norwood Hitchhike, man. This is 224 this is 224 Boulevard, right? Okay, yeah, that's very fucking broad. Very vague. Sure. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson? No! Not unless he fucking says specifically... Hey, man, I ordered you a pizza. You know, it'll be there soon. Then fine, I'll open the damn door. I guess we have to. Please open the door, sir. Give me a knife. Can I get a knife? Can I get some sort of weapon? Can I hit him with the grocery bag? Ah! Like I said, I had to get my schoolwork done for Monday. Ah! You know, it could be one of the endings, so fuck it. I don't like that. He wasn't even there, dude. He wasn't even there, dude. Oh, fucking. Yeah, take the pizza. Okay, okay. I ain't gonna eat that shit. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but. Do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Uh oh. I understand. We have a good day. See, what if we let him in? I don't know, man. Shit just sounds sus. And no, I'm not gonna eat this fucking pizza. I'm not eating that shit. Fuck off. I had schoolwork to do. I <sighs> thought I'd have. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? What a fucking asshole, dude. Now I feel like a piece of shit. I should have fucking let him fucking stay in the damn house. Damn. He probably could have helped us in the end, to be honest, with whoever the fuck's gonna try and break in. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, that's, that's what you're doing, idiot. Damn man, I got to, oh, man, I got some pizza in my fridge. I want some right now. And it's pepperoni too. My favorite kind. Comment below if y'all are still watching. What's your favorite type of pizza? Do you like pineapple on pizza? Do you think that's sacrilegious? It's not that I don't it's not that I think it's gross. I just don't I've had it. I just don't understand it. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night. Oh my god, dude. That scared the shit out of me. My name is Jack Bardax. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Sounds like all these basics. What are those things on the. Yo, this is some thick ass pizza, dude. It's like that much bread, that much like fucking cheese and toppings. The fuck? I'm kind of down for it though. It's like it's like the deep deep dish from Little Caesars. What the hell is this shit? 
Uh, Eat all the pizza. Eat all the pizza. Eat all the pizzas. Intruders don't get any. Who is it? Uh, no. Alright, let's see who the fuck's at the goddamn, um... Let's see who's at the... the, the There's probably nobody there by now, but... Is that a dead fish? Alright, all's quiet on the western front. Let's uh, go see what the fuck's at her front door. She looks like a dead damn goddamn fish. Who is it? I won't ask again. Roses. Or flowers, excuse me. Okay. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, neither did the fucking I. Or anybody else that's played the damn game. No, you need to get started on your damn homework, man. Come on now. Do your fucking pre cal Oh, no, it's oh what the hell? Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Uh, it's called Nunya. You should try it sometime. You know, it's good. It's good. It's great. Everybody likes it. Strange, but I just missed the thought of weird coincidence. Move on. Do your fucking homework. Do your damn tasks. You shit. Engrossment. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. I kind of miss homework, but I also don't. I would just usually in middle school and high school would just end up before they at least in high school before they got rid of homeroom, which was so fucking dumb. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four. Dude, it's been like four fucking hours. Oh, the power went. Oh, no. oh shit, dude. What the hell? Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter. Right is this fucking Kara or Kara, his fucking bitch ass ex? The bitch. It had been another prank by Turner. Oh, by his friends. I just knew guys like him very well. Oh god, dude, I don't like this. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house sitting tonight. Dude, it is so dark. I can't see shit. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. So here are the stairs. Oh, God. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. My roommate and my brother are asleep, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to wake them up by screaming like a little pansy boy. Oh, no. dude. I fucked up so bad. I fucked up so bad. Where the fuck did I leave the goddamn... Oh, he, he's barking. He's barking. That's, uh, that's Zeke. Isn't it? Little doggy boy, 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 boy. What you barking at, Bubba? What's wrong with you? We left the back door open. Oh god. Hey, baby. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> Anything very weird. We'll bring him inside. It had to have been Turner. He was really starting to piss me off. Uh, the door is closed. So, fuck was that? I am. I shit you not. I swear to God, I saw something move like in the corner right there. Oh god. Yo, is it better rip turner or a fucking new one? You said we'd stay friends. I swear to god, if it's being gay, you know what? Fucking bitch, I left you. Alright. How about that? What the hell was that? I'm hearing fucking creaks and shit. I don't like this. Kara, if you're in the house, you can politely and extremely go fuck yourself in the most worst way possible. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday? Well, hold on, man. I, we gotta check on Zeke first. He's acting all fucking strange. Oh my god, dude, the fucking music, too. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Come in the house. What's on, buddy? Come on. Come on, Bubba. Alright, fine. Bubby didn't want to come in the house. He's fine. I don't like this. I'm just waiting for any moment just the door to fucking swing open and be like, ah! <laughs> Let's get back to my schoolwork because it's apparently... So, I mean, it is important, but at this moment, it's not that fuck... Oh, that's cool. What the fuck? Stool fell down. Stool's down. Things are down in here. Something's wrong. Somebody is in the house that shouldn't be. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about night mode. Dude. Don't tell me I have to go fucking... Oh my god, do I have to investigate his fucking shit? Oh god, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And there it goes. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else happens. Somebody's outside. What the fuck? Uh, dude, I would be fucking... To go down the chair. You don't have to. You really don't have to. It's fine. It's really fine. Oh my god, dude. No, 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 no. Oh my god, here we go. It's just like the first episode. Oh god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh god, no. Oh Jesus. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Fuck this shit. Can I go back upstairs and do my homework, please? I want to go home. I don't want to be a part of... Low-key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he... Who the fuck is he, bro? I could only ask Andy. Dude. No, 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 no. The tendency of being overly paranoid? This isn't being fucking paranoid, dude. This is somebody fucking with your life. I'm in a place right now where we're gonna go to the movies with Brady and then it started pouring, so we stuck it. We stuck with the sleepover. Call him right now. Right fucking now. But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... Don't you... Noah, you're a fucking idiot. You're... You know what? I, I hope you die. I hate everything about this. Wait, did you check out this article? It was Brady who told me about it. Was him in the fucking article! Oh! Where is she going? Oh, fuck. She's coming towards us, isn't she? 
Get up! Fucking block the door or something, man. What the fuck? Kara, we can work this out. It's fine. It's fine. You know, whatever I did, I, I apologize for it. Just please get out of the house. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we'll call the fucking police. Call the fucking police. Is it Kara? <sighs> I'm not saying a fucking word. There's nothing to talk about. Shut up, you weirdo. <sighs> you need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance! You know, I can tell you were the police for this. Oh my god, if she hits us with the... They won't make it in time. They're like, oh my fucking god. Dude, I will fucking kill both of you. He's not, he's literally, he hasn't texted a, a fucking soul about this shit. She's still fucking there. She's at, ooh, wait a minute. If I can't hit, no one can, right? Of course. Is she, is she still at the one door? No, she's not. So, I wonder if there's a part where she's at the other door and we can, like, pop into the, uh, into the fucking, like, bathroom or something. And we're here, so there's a, there's a fucking chance that we could sneak in here. Ah, uh, ha, 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 they brought it back. Hell yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I loved that feature in the second one, man. It was so fucking cool. It was so... So, like, innovative and shit, because no game, at least as far as I'm aware of, at the time, no game did that shit. By the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Whoa. Whoa, dude. 
Kyra was one of the first people I met on the dating site. <clears throat> she was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. Okay, this is like an Alfred Hitchcock like backstory type fucking shit. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing meth. Ah, that's why the whole junkie line came up. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. If for the good, the hell. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince me what she was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Oh, so that's what that shing was. Holy shit. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long time. Woo! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Survivor. All right, that was cool. It was cool that we got that achievement. Sorry, this was a really good one. This one, the cooking with Jeffrey VA. That was Berlizzi? No fucking way. What? Top donations, Berlizzi? Hell yeah, man. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, wow. All right. I got to watch that part again to see if that really is him. Jacksepticeye, Berlizzi. Cool. But, um, okay. That was my Adobe thing. Uh, <laughs> well, with that being done, I think we got all the endings that we could. At least I believe so. I don't know how many there are. We get killed and caught or she gets caught and arrested. But, um, yeah, this was really fucking fun to get another great episode from Fears the Fathom, you know, R Rail, Ryle, whatever the person's name is. Uh, they were too lazy to, uh, make a garage, which was hilarious. I love that they put that little quip in there. But, um, yeah, with all that being said, uh, great game. Links will be in the description if you want to download it. It's on Steam. three ninety nine. It's not that much, man. Go pick it up. Go try it out. Go get scared. Uh, or maybe if you support them on Patreon or something, maybe you can get it there. But uh, if not, then yeah, steam all the way, baby. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did playing this. This game scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Again, like games where it's uh, where it deals with like breaking and entering that shit always really fucking scares the shit out of me. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I will see you, all of you, in the next one. Later.